hello everyone welcome back to healing to go to grow my name is shay if you're new thanks for stopping by showing me some support and if you're a returner i really love and appreciate your love and support keep in mind that tarot is entertainment so if the reading doesn't resonate it's just simply not for you okay this reading is timeless so whenever you see this it's if when you're meant to see it if you want to know more about me or book a personal all that information will be in the description box and i also have a second channel where i do all 12 signs you can go check that out you can check out your sun moon venus and rising signs and we're gonna get right into the energy right into the energy what you got for us today spirit what are we gonna talk about you go with the flow we're going to go with the flow. I don't know why I just heard work on your root chakra. Something about your chakras. And if you don't know what a chakra is, look more into chakra. And I have the Page of Wands in reverse. The Page of Wands speaks to spark. Someone who's very enthusiastic. Maybe the child that lights up the room. This child could be a fire sign child. But I'm getting the energy of someone who's losing their vitality. Not really, really feeling very inspired. Not feeling creative, feeling very down. Aww. Don't feel down. That's the current energy. It uh, it could also be the past energy, or something you could look out for in the future. I don't know if what caused you to be down was. I'm getting two energies. If I'm speaking to like a star seed or a light worker, I'm getting the energy of feeling down because. You don't feel that you're, uh, like, it's something about your connection to your higher self. You feel kind of disconnected. I'm also getting the energy of someone who, um, basically, somebody lied to them, and it caused them to feel very down. This could have been a parent. This could have been a love interest. And if it was, this love interest is very um, childish. Or this could have simply be one of your kids child aligned to you hell what else spirit and i got the six of swords six of swords is coming up in a potential or challenge so with the six of swords i feel like if if this is um, or start see also one who does light work and they're not quite or they don't feel connected with themselves um i feel like your um your spirit guides and your angels are definitely working with you they're right by your side and they are guiding you i'm hearing um quiet your mind listen a little harder look a little deeper it's something that you're missing I feel like some of you may be um, moving, if not moving into a new home. You could be traveling, road trip, or traveling over water, or taking some sort of vacation to get you out of this funk, or thinking about taking a vacation to get you away from whatever this energy is that's making you feel down. The chariot speaks to willpower and strength. Going on going on a journey. And then I got the eight of wands with the ace of pentacles. So definitely speaks to fast moving. The eight of wands also speaks to traveling and traveling over water. It speaks to communication. The ace of pentacles speaks to deepening your security. So I feel like you moving forward to self-fulfillment. I feel like self-fulfillment is closer to like being, I'm getting the energy of there's a need for you to find contentment, 
Find contentment with whatever situation that you're in or moving out of. I feel like I'm speaking to someone who's, I'm getting like halfway there. But your focus is definitely on the chariot and moving forward with something. Moving away from something. The chariot does things that's in his will. He kind of follows that he's connect he's cancer in energy he's connected to the moon the moon is about intuition and heading into the unknown but having the strength and the willpower and the courage and the perseverance to do it so persevering and get away from something is definitely in the focus right now or moving out of something that's Keeping you feeling low in energy. I'm getting the energy of an uh, energy vampire. Somebody who sucks you dry. Or it could just be people who you work with. It, it just could. It could be anyone in your environment. Now, in the past, I feel like you, um, this is coming up in the past position. The Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords speaks to a lot of heavy communication. It could speak to the end of um, a journey. It can also speak to death. So I'm not sure if someone um, recently died and that's what's making you feel the way you're feeling. But with the Six of Swords, I feel like if someone did recently die, that person is definitely by your side and guiding you and help guiding you, especially with this star card and this six of swords. The star card speaks to Aquarius and Aquarius energy. It speaks to higher consciousness and being connected to source and, and a higher power and angel and spirit guides. I feel like this cycle that you're coming out of to go from the six of swords moving away from the bullshit to the 10 of swords just deadening it all in all is a great sign. It just tells me that you're moving out of some sort of cycle. A cycle that was weighing you down really heavy. I'm getting the energy of somebody who also may have cried a lot. I'm also getting the energy of somebody who had to move forward and fast even though they didn't want to. But this person, she got a back turn. He got his back turned. They all got their back turned, and they're moving forward towards the happiness. And the tower card is right before the star card, and this all speak to tower moment. Like, so I definitely feel like you're healing and recovering from something. Using your prep, you you used your strength. You used your perseverance to get out of something, or. Just your willpower to get up again. Like, if this was a death, this could have been a grandparent. I'm getting the energy of a grandmother that you were really close with. You guys may have took um, journeys together or road trips together. Or I'm also getting the energy of maybe somebody died in a car accident. But I feel like this person is right beside you. And I'm hearing, release, let me go get up and um now i'm getting channel messages get up and live again it's not the end of the world i feel like somebody definitely feels feels like it's the end of the end of the world and i'm also getting images somebody was speeding like like maybe like i just saw somebody either arguing with a spouse A drunk driver or just somebody who's really stressed out also somebody who may have been sleeping on the road and driving and got in a horrible car accident and that's what caused the death of this person so in the near future you have the page of pentacles i feel like you're going to come out of this situation, but very slow. 
I feel like you're taking your time with yourself. You could be getting personal readings or just watching a lot of readings. I feel like you're probably getting readings and trying to investigate like what happened if this was um, a car accident. I'm getting the energy of like, um, I don't know why, like a psychic medium. I'm not sure if you are one or you're seeking the answers out. I don't know where this come from, but I'm also getting the energy of somebody who's like, um, who, um, who's trying to figure out if this had anything to do with magic, the death of this person or this car accident. Definitely don't want to go there. I don't know why, but I just heard cousin coming at you like a dog. Oh, Katy Perry song. I don't know. I don't know why I just heard that song. Now, in the approach to take this situation, I feel like you're just trying to find your balance. Both of these cards speaks to balance. And then I have a page of pentacles and a two of pentacles and i just heard apprenticeship and the three of pentacles does usually denote some sort of apprenticeship and working together for something if this is a little relationship or if this was a situation that you're moving out of I'm getting the energy of kind of working with what you got. If this has anything to do with finances, I'm getting the energy of um, you trying to find some sort of balance or you could be starting a new job. You could have just started a new job. You're new at it. You don't have much experience with this job. Or two, I'm getting the energy of somebody who has two jobs and they could have just just recently picked up a second job and they're juggling trying to find their balance could already be thinking about leaving one of them or you could just be in transition leaving one job just to start another one i don't know why i just saw somebody at a car dealership I'm not sure if you guys are looking into purchasing a car But I definitely feel like you're at the beginning stages of some sort of um, of mastering yourself. I feel like whatever this is that you're moving out of definitely um, triggered some sort of transformation. I'm getting the energy of somebody who either has been resting a lot because you probably feel depressed and your energy is low because of what you're moving out of love or, 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 or this car accident that somebody just went through. But I'm getting the energy of it's gonna like, I don't know why, but I'm hearing what doesn't kill you make you stronger. Like this situation is definitely gonna, gonna prepare, propel you into something big. And then I got the Hierophant here. The Hierophant is all about tradi tradition, order, structure. He's the type of person, it's the type of energy, it's like, do what I say. But I'm getting, with it coming under this chariot, I feel the energy of being guided by some sort of higher power. Or like listening to, like listening to that driving force within you, like the willpower. Yeah, and then I got the high priestess. So the hierophant is all about um, tradition, order, structure. It could also speak to blessings. With the chariot here, and thinking about olden times with a hierophant, it reminds me of marriages. 
Now, a marriage doesn't necessarily have to be, oh, I'm going to marry you or we're getting married. A marriage, you could be married to anything. I don't heard motherfuckers say, oh, I'm married to the game. <laughs> oh, I'm married to my money. So this could be married to anything. Just devoted, I feel. The energy of being very devoted. Now, the six of wands a note to raising your awareness. I just heard higher consciousness. And I got that out this high priestess and this star card here. It definitely speaks to being recognized, rewarded, being on a stage, center front, or in the original wide awake tarot deck, he's on a horse and he's headed towards something that he see, that he is very, um, um, what's the word? Very, um, driven, very, conf not conflicted. Damn, what's the word? <laughs> I can't find the word, y'all. It's on the tip of my tongue, but whatever. Now, this is coming up in your hopes, wishes, and fears. So, I feel like you either fear being recognized or that's just something that you're not used to. You're not used to being recognized. And you always want it to be like the center of attention or something like that or just the center of somebody's attention like i'm getting the energy of always being chosen last but there's a need for you to listen to that inner light whatever situation this is you're coming out of is definitely propelling you forward to being recognized i got two pages here and then I got the star and the high priestess. You begin with two pages, very immature energy. You learn your balance, what you is and ain't gonna take, and you walk away from what no longer serves you. The higher powers, because you prepare for it and you use your willpower, your intuition, the chariot and the high priestess is definitely connected to the moon. Something about cycles. But you definitely ended a cycle because I got the ten of, ten of Swords here to start a new beginning. These cycles could be anything. Thought patterns, habits, people, karmics. I don't know, whatever. Coming out of the storm, using your gut feeling, your intuition, there, there's, there, this is coming out in the outcome position. So I feel like something, it's something that you don't see ahead. There's some sort of mystery about this outcome. So it's something that you don't see. What is it, spirit? What is this mystery? Four of Wands want to come out. So it could be... Um, coming together of some sort if you're coming out of separation with someone or could just be running into a new person what is this spirit this mystery this high priestess and star card definitely speaks to some sort of inner knowing Setting healthy boundaries. Ten of Wands. What's this mystery? I, I'm hearing in a noise. I don't know. It's like, <laughs> I feel like spirit doesn't really want you to know what the mystery is. It's something that you have to figure out. I'm hearing this right in your face. It's something you already know. Knowing too many answers to take away from the healing process. And there's definitely something that you're healing from. And a nail card fell yet. And I gotta be right because I just saw the sun card. And the ace of swords. So that speaks to truth and clarity. Okay. 
with this page of cups poking out here with this knight of pentacles i'm getting the energy of imagination i'm also getting like feel for it it's something you're gonna feel And it's going to come in slow. I don't know. There's some sort of suspense about this reading at the end. I don't know where that came from or why that happened. But it definitely is going to prepare you for some sort of new beginning and transformation. If this reading resonated at all, make sure you give it a motherfucking like. And bang that motherfucking subscribe button. I love you guys. And bye.